Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is CityWorks with my first official video on this channel. Um, I've been meaning to start um, basically recording my City Skylines sessions for a long time and I have really haven't been able to budget the time for it until now. Um, but I've been playing the game for about three years now, got a good amount of experience on it, had a couple projects that you know inevitably crashed as most City Skylines <laughs> projects inevitably do at some point. Um, but uh, a little bit about me, I've always been a engineering and technology geek. Um, I love anything construction. Um, I actually got into City Builders way back um, when SimCity 4 was released. Um, ever since that, uh, the second I learned about City Skylines and the crazy amount of community support it gets, um, I was like, this is um, going to be my next game. And yeah. Um, so uh, without further ado, let me introduce um, to y'all the project that I'm working on, um, which is based off of um, the map, the, geog the topography of the greater Portland metro area. Um, this is Portland, Oregon. Um, generally, we have a temperate, or I don't want to say temperate, it's more of a, of a, yeah, it is temperate. It's a temperate rainforest atmosphere we have here, um, which means a lot of uh, pine, conifer trees, uh, a lot of fog, rain throughout most of the year. And um, it's honestly the kind of biome that I enjoy the most. Um, I grew up, um, I guess I spent, didn't grew up, I spent a lot of time in California, and um, as beautiful as it is, it, in my opinion, doesn't really have anything on the Pacific Northwest, which is lush all year round. Um, it's got beautiful mountains, uh, because it sits on a volcanic range. We have um, huge mountains such as Mount Hood, which are totally isolated, and they're just a great sight to see. Um, apart from that, the city layout itself, um, the city of Portland, is a very, I want to say quaint. Um, it's tight, it's, um, I, I actually learned this recently about it, it's, each of its blocks, um, in, at least in the downtown area, are some of the smallest blocks out of any city in America. And I think part of the reason for that is because of the landscape that it's situated on and the fact that there's really not a lot of room, especially for the downtown area, which um, kind of sits along the, the Willamette River right here. Um, and I've been wanting to do this build for, I guess, a number of reasons, uh, mainly since there isn't, at least um, from my research, there isn't a real um, effort that has been put into doing a Portland build. Um, I know a lot of other cities uh, get their love, especially Seattle, um, New York, and um, cities like Miami are huge points of inspiration for a lot of City Skylines creators. And I wanted to um, basically pay homage to um, a city that I really like. So for those of you that are unfamiliar with uh, the layout of Portland, um, we have the 5, the I-5, which runs all the way down to California. Um, going north and south through downtown. Um, in the north it goes up to Vancouver and Washington and then Seattle eventually. Um, and then we have the 26 which runs, um, which is a state highway, it runs east and west through um, Beaverton where Nike headquarters is at and Hillsboro where the Intel headquarters are at. Um, in the east we have the I-84 which uh, will keep heading east for a really long time. Um, and in this area right here, we basically have um, a finish of uh, what is very common in a lot of cities, um, a ring, a highway ring system around the, the dense downtown areas. Um, this really helps with traffic. Um, cars that are trying to get around or through the city um, can just drive around it instead of having to clog up the, um, the roads that are in the densest parts of downtown. Um, so. Let me. So here is um, a map of Portland. Um, and as you can see, I am still in the map editor. Um, so I have a bit 
to finish. I have to basically connect, finish this outside connection here of the five, um, right around where Lake Oswego is, and I also have to finish this ring road, and I have to um, basically make the other outside connection of the five to the north, as well as the connection of the 84 to the east. Um, so basically over here, this loop right here, and then the highway heading north, and the highway heading south. So with that said, um, I'm going to start building. i um, going to record these videos um, as little time lapses of me building, as well as periodic um, cinematic shots like this um, of the area that I've just been working on. Um, that way you'll get a, I hope, a non, not so nauseating <laughs> version of the building process because it takes a while and there's a lot of movement. So um, yeah, sit back and enjoy. So I want to address the elephant in the room, which is, of course, City Skylines 2, which is releasing soon, actually, and I'm super hyped for it, um, as I'm sure most of you are. Um, and that, I guess, begs the question, why am I starting this project here in City Skylines 1 at this late stage? The reason for that, um, for me, is the experience. Um, I have been playing this game a lot over the past few years, and I've learned quite a bit, and I'm just not sure in my ability to build this detailed, um, this accurately in Cities Skylines 2 once it comes out. And also, you know, I want to I want to spend some time in that game just having fun. I don't want to I don't want to be building repl replicas and and things like that. No no complex projects. I want to I want to see what the game's about. And um, with that said, I kind of want this to be my my capstone project, in a way, for City Skylines 1. Um, yeah, and with that said, you can see here I'm working on um, a rather uh, important piece of inter infrastructure in the Portland area, and that is the 405 um, and I-5 bridge that heads north to Vancouver um, in Washington and eventually to Seattle. Um, this highway, man, this highway is is always packed. Uh, during rush hour, it's it's severely impacted, uh, mainly because of the fact that it is the 
really is one of the only bridges um, that come in from the north. Um, and it carries a lot of traffic, not only from East Portland, or sorry, not East Portland, from North Portland and Vancouver, but it also carries traffic from people coming from Seattle or traveling down to California. Um, and if we have an event here in Portland at, say, the Moda Center, like we have a, um, we have a concert or, you know, uh, we, the Trailblazers are playing, a, you know, a finals game or something like that, this the highway gets packed. Um, so one of the ambitions that I have for this project um, is to kind of revamp um, some parts of Portland. Um, obviously, I'm going to keep the historical districts um, very true to, true to their nature. Um, I don't want to lose out on what makes Portland Portland. Um, but at the same time, I, I drive these roads a lot, and um, I can say confidently that there can be some infrastructure changes that could greatly, greatly reduce the amount of traffic we see um, during rush hour. So if you see me leave um, little spaces next to the highway or, you know, on-ramps or off-ramps that, you know, don't really seem to be going anywhere, what I'm doing is basically... Um, trying to figure out if there's something I can do in that in that area to um, revamp the infrastructure a little bit. So um, yeah, as part of that, I want to you know give the metro and train lines a little boost. Um, I want to you know figure out the bus routes, maybe do them better than what the city has at the moment. And you know, I'm of, of course this is this is all super super subjective. Um, this is just my opinion. This is you know, this is in a game. There's no politics. There's no budget. I have literally infinite money, um, so it's probably not realistic. But you know, that's besides the point. Um, I just you know, I want to I want to build a city in a way that I that I think it should be. Um, so yeah, yeah. If you if you see anything weird, that's what I'm doing. Um, right here, I am working on um, basically Highway 30, State Highway 30, which kind of runs uh, along the Willamette. Um, it's a really beautiful stretch of highway, actually. Um, kind of just travels along the river um, under a couple really, really interesting bridges, uh, all the way up to like St. Helens, and then um, even further north from there. Um, this highway is, you know, for the most part, an industrial corridor. The north, uh, the northwest section of Portland is mostly industrial. Um, we have a lot of warehouses. We have a couple train yards. We have some factories, and I expect that's where a lot of the heavy industry traffic is going to go. So I will be planning for that accordingly. I know city skylines. Um, industry likes to attract traffic. It attracts a lot of traffic, so there is a good chance that um, the way the city is designed is not going to be you know, ideal for the way that industry operates in the game. So that's one of the things that I will be considering redoing a bit, maybe um, fixing the flow of traffic so that you know we have an entry point and an exit point so that you know everyone comes in one way and leaves another way so we don't have backing up of people going multiple directions and stuff. Um, with that being said, um, for this video, I think, um, all I'm gonna get accomplished really is this bridge here and, um, the interchange between these three different, uh, three different highways. So, um, yeah, I'll get back to building and talk to you guys in a bit.
we go. Um, this intersection is officially done. Um, at least mostly to my liking. Uh, there are still a couple of things I had to do with uh, removing pillars and replacing them with custom assets and things like that. But those are details I think I can postpone until I actually start playing the game. It took me about two hours, um, just a little under two hours to finish this off, and um, I think I can do better. <laughs> Um, it's been a while since I played at this level of intensity, and this is also my first time um, making a YouTube video or a YouTube series on any build that I've that I've done. So, with most things, I'm sure I'll get better with time. And of course, if you guys have any suggestions or advice, um, please feel free free to leave comments. Um, I'll do my best to look at and answer as many as I can. Um, and yeah, my timeline for this is. Um, I'm hoping to finish off this ring road by the next episode and make this uh, make the connection to the I-5 heading north. Um, you can kind of see the imprint here. Um, also, I have to finish off this connection of the 84 to the east, um, going up this way. And I think uh, I will finish off the train line, um, which will kind of wrap around downtown and head up north here. Um, but once I'm done with those, I think I'm done with the map editor for the most part. I finished off uh, a lot of these intersections before I started this um, the series. Uh, this is the I-5 mess, spaghetti mess that's uh, coming in from the south. This is the 26 interchange that um, is actually a really pretty drive through the, through the hills here and through this tunnel into downtown. Um, and then of course I have this arterial um, going to downtown and East Portland here, and this interchange is mostly done too, so I'm hoping that by next episode um, I can wrap up everything in the map editor and um, start building the city. Um, if you guys uh, are enjoying this project so far and want to see more, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you can. Um, and yeah, see you guys next week.